We are many. Those that live beyond the veil of darkness where nightmares are born. Sanity knows no bounds and ends thrives on the suffering of the dead. Rot in the solace in the souls of the weak. We Taking refuge here among the mortals in hope of a harvest for my innocence. Tread lightly in the search for the voices and stories of the departed. For in shadow hides the evil that lurks within. As the light dies and slowly becomes night. The realm of spirits rule the world, and the darkness of your mind hides your own hidden demons, and brings to life your deepest fear. Do you have what it takes to speak to the dead? Do you accept your own mortality in the search for life after life? Have you ever seen a ghost, spirit, or demon? Have the lights flickered, and the room became as cold as death itself? Maybe you have. Maybe it was your own subconscious preparing you for death. Come spend some of what's left of your own existence in our search for the answers that are hidden behind the veil. Shed off the blinders and open your mind's eye and listen to their stories. We are there. We are incarnate paranormal. And what is up everybody? How y'all doing? Happy Friday Eve to you. Or watching overseas probably is Friday already, but you know, welcome to it. Uh, yeah, we made it through. Well, we're hour twelve into this recorder. Well, it breaks it up to our sections, so uh, we're hour twelve into part one of three on recorder one, Sims recorder. We've already caught six EVPs. Uh, burning me, hurting me, or creepy. We we couldn't decide which, so. We'll let uh let them decide up the prison, uh sleep bad, being near the execution chamber, execution viewing, sleeping bad. Yeah, you're probably not gonna sleep well before you get escorted into the other room. So very credible EVP. Prick, you know. Okay, were they talking to the guards? They obviously weren't talking to me. The spirits actually do respect me here. At least I hope they do. They ask for me, so. It'd be weird to ask for me and call me a prick at the same time, but you know what? I'm okay with that. People have called me worse. Uh, Carol Cole, very angry voice. Uh, take me home, which take me home or get me home. Uh, I think that's David either. I think that's uh, Floyd Burton Loveless. Again, 17 year old, the boy Nevada killed. Again, read that book if you guys have a chance. It'll explain the whole story. I don't get into it much because there's so much involved. And die followed by an unknown. Excuse me, one second, guys. Excuse me, clearing my throat. I had something spicy for dinner and it's kind of breaking everything up. But a special shout out to Chris Pitzer, uh, Nevada State Prison Paranormal, one of the docents. Uh, sent me a message. He's been watching the shows uh apparently all that knocking noise is not only wind uh but the stuff that's echoing inside is paranormal it's residual but it's paranormal which guys if we counted all this we would probably be at 100 already we're an hour in and this is going on every 15 20 seconds so we're going to count it as residual energy. I don't want to go back through and start this recorder over and count all the knocks. 
but I guarantee that there's 50 or 60 of them already. So a special thank you out to Chris for that one, for messaging me and letting me know. You guys spend so much time in the prison. It's good to have one of you guys help catch this early. So not only did I have one recorder in there, or I had one each night, and and Joe had one in there one of the nights. So we'll probably catch it on what was in the uh, last night's cells. Probably catch it on the GoPros. At least I hope. Because I had a GoPro sitting on a chair right across the room from Sims Recorder. We're yeah. catching a lot of evidence and we don't even realize it. <laughs> and again, special also love and all the all the shots out in the world to Susan and the other Chris. It's like the two Chris's. It's like, what was that? Uh, I forget what movie was that. This is my brother. I can't remember the name. This is my brother and my other brother. Same name. That's kind of what it feels like. Two people working together, both named Chris. Yeah. This is my brother Dave and my other brother Dave. Except it's Chris's. Love those guys. They made it so much fun this year. And hopefully we get to do it with them again next year. Get Joe in there too. One of the uh, other docents, former prison guards. And just get everybody involved out together. Investigating. Could you imagine getting all four people who are there like almost every day out in the prison investigating together? That would make for some interesting, <clears throat> you know what. But that being said, guys, let's uh, get on over to analyzing. I already got it loaded up and ready. As I said, we're at the hour, 20-minute mark. And we've got, well, two hours, four minutes. So we've got, what, another 45, 45 minutes on this recorder? Or on this section of the recorder. So uh, let's get on over to it. Hope you guys are comfortable. Got the headphones on. Got something cold to drink. Let's catch some EVPs. Or at least try to. If you want me to amplify it, you know what? Just so I don't have to be asked later. We're going to amplify this a little bit more. Just so we can get everything clear. Good thing with these Zoom recorders, you can amplify them 25 to 30 more before it starts distorting. So we're still in a safe range. Might get a couple uh, loud areas, but we catch those. Let's get back to it. Yes, I'm drinking Mexican Coke tonight. It's better. Real sugar. Probably don't need it this late, though. Again, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to type it out in chat. I'll stop the stream or stop the audio and I'll do the best I can to answer it for you. So even if it takes 10, 15 minutes, we'll get to your questions. I'll do whatever I can for my viewers. You guys know this. Hold on. It's a bird.
they're just so loud. And we didn't hear it when we were in there like that, though. That, that's a strange thing. So you figure 150, 150 plus years, I think it's around 150, 1862 to 2012, <clears throat> you know, cell blocks opening and closing, going to have a lot of, you are going to have residual, but how much of it's intelligent? It's pretty, pretty good question. And I think I'm going to make the Freddy Krueger had a stay of the Stay of the stream. Just add so much to it. I think it's probably right around this time where we probably started investigating. I think it took us a good hour, hour and 20 minutes to get everything set up. So, I don't think we came in here first. <laughs> Guys, I honestly don't remember. Over the course of three days, the amount of mileage we walked in the prison, it's impossible to remember where you went first. I want to say it was up top. There's actually, I think there's something here. I think there's actually something freaking here. Because of the little spike, just the minuscule little spike in the uh, little, little power flare up in the decibels, I think there's actually something here. Sounds like a cough. It's a cough.
Now, here's a question. If, if this happens to be a cough, does this go back to the gas chamber before it was the lethal injection, lethal injection chamber? Let me say that five times real fast because it ain't going to happen. So if this is a cough, is this the residual energy of somebody who uh, passed away from, uh, from the gas? So they're, they're coughing before they, before they die. Yeah, is it possible? Yeah. Is it a cough? I'm not 100%. Definitely sounds like it. Like, <coughs> just a real low, <coughs> trying to clear your throat. But that goes back to saying when, uh, when Floyd Burton Loveless was executed, apparently one of the guards told him as soon as the, the tablets hit the hit the chemical the, the bucket, start inhaling as fast as you can. And that's what uh, one of the other inmates did when he said, "I'll take myself out," and started. <coughs> breathing in deeply so one of the guards telling Floyd Burton Loveless that could this be a residual cough from one of those inmates I, I honestly think it is That sounds like a real faint cough, unless I'm unless I'm wrong. Uh, I kind of like to know what you guys think before I officially save this. Is it a cough? Because one of two GoPros is going to tell us the truth on this. Mine sitting in execution viewing, facing the recorder, or Dead's GoPro facing the execution chamber from the last night's area. One of the two is going to get it. I'm going to save it as a cough. And speak of the devil, Dead's just walked in. How you doing tonight, buddy? Thank you for being here. So this is seven uh, Sims uh, night one next view cough. Okay, <laughs> try not to make the keys too loud. I got the mic right next to the keys, so if you heard it, I'm sorry. There's our first EVP for the night. Thou shalt not bow down before any graven image. And there's the, uh, three sub. Thank you. Thank you, Deads. Greatly appreciate it, brother. Let's, uh, get the jelly beans out. After a spicy dinner, this ain't gonna go too well. Let's get the wheel up. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. Let's get a... Uh... And, and now, and now we Diane. come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, so, let's see the nominations, shall we? And I'll be right back. There's one. And, and now, and now we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, point, pointless and wasteful use of this year so so let's see the nominations shall we i'll be right back and here's cayenne and habanero haven't done this combination yet either so this is going to be interesting
Ooh, that's rank. <coughs> Ooh. Yeah, boy. That's a spicy tamale. Afterburner from both ends, you ain't lying. So I don't know if you caught it. Uh, Chris messaged uh, Chris messaged me. Uh, all these knocks, some of them are actually paranormal. So a lot of these are evidence. Yep, this one week ago tonight was night number one. How'd your x-ray go? Appointment with your orth orthopedic. All right. You have to physically physically go in on Monday. Well. Could have been worse. You could have needed surgery. Do have a little bit of wind. <laughs> Watch me, I'm a fast dealer. Well, that's what I told him after my wreck. I said, I'll be back quick. It only took an extra day, so. They were actually shocked that I was back. You know, technically, two day, two work days after my accident, I took basically Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. Everybody at work's asking about the investigation too. Between streams, can we fix my camera? What do you mean, fix my camera? What's wrong with the camera? OBS is stretched. Bear with me, guys. It might be. Huh. 
Huh. Camera and OBS. Let's let's see. It's not. I'll have to check it out though. Hey Grinch, how you doing? Doing good. What's new with you? That's weird. It's not stretched. Huh. I have to get that fixed for you guys. It's nothing. It's wind. Get this fixed while I'm streaming. Yeah, Grinch, uh, we're starting to pit. And this is awesome. The spirits love you. Yes. Speak of the devil. That would be Chris. How you doing, brother? I, I think the spirits respect me. I've, <laughs> I don't know about love me, but I think they appreciate I just talk to them. And I can't wait to get to the areas where we're actually talking to him. It's not just the residual. And Chris, I greatly appreciate you being here tonight, brother. It's it's an honor. And for those that don't know, Sergeant Pitts there is a docent there at Nevada State Prison. Joined us on a lot of the investigation. Damn good man right there. <laughs> when you were alone in culinary, we'll get to that. But we're we're not going to spoil the video. 
I want people to tune into the audio for a while before we get to the uh, video. And I've made that painfully obvious. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see what we got in culinary when I disappeared for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I just, I want to see just, I wish I had a camera facing you and that just like deer in the headlights look. Like he left me alone in here. That son of a bitch. Yeah, we need to get Vexus down for the next one. Uh, try to get all the viewers to get down to the investigation. I would love to have all my viewers join. Thou shalt not bow down before any graven image. Chris, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, <laughs> as we do during every sub, uh, I do a spin and, uh, the hot, extremely hot jelly beans. Bring up the wheel. <laughs> kind of a torture for me, actually, but that's all right. I don't mind. Where's the wheel at? There we go. There's the wheel. Let's get it up. You get two spins, two jelly beans. And, and now, and now we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use and of this year. So. So, I'll be right back. And who was that? <laughs> who was the uh, sub because the wheel was actually covering it up? So I can thank them too. Let's get the uh, second spin. There's a cayenne. And now, and now, and now we come to and a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, so, let's see the nominations, shall we? And I'll be right back. That's a sriracha, which would be that. And uh, I assume the uh, other sub was Vexus. So for you, got, let me get uh, get the spins in. Oh, Sarah. And Thank you, Sarah. And now, and now we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, so let's see the nomination, shall we? And I'll be right back. There it is. Almost dropped it. Sorry about that, Sarah. I would have called you up sooner, but the, uh, there's three, and let's get number four in. And, and now, and now we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, oh. so, let's see the nominations, shall we? There's two. I'll be right back. This is going to suck all four of these. And there's the other two. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <coughs> oh, my God. Whoever wants to go is more than welcome. Let me get this seal back up. <coughs> oh, good Lord. Sarah? You're, you all are invited. I want all of my supporters there. Oh, that's a spicy peanut. Uh, I want all of you guys there to experience what Joe and I experienced. I want you guys to see the spirits. They're no different than you and I. They've got stories. They were put in, you know, unusual circumstances. And, yeah, some of them had to, had to pay with their lives. But they're no different than we are. And just to sit down and talk to these spirits like, like I'm talking to you guys. It, the reactions you get, sometimes it's heartbreaking. It's very emotional. It's... It's very, 
it's very humbling. Spirits don't communicate with everybody. They communicate with those they sense one or not a threat, and they're there for the right reason. A lot of investigators go around stumble and bumble in the dark. They provoke them. They talk shit to them. They talk down to them. Hey, you died in here. What'd you do? Really? You're going to start with that? I hear an investigator doing that. I'm going to twist their ear and escort them off prison grounds for insulting these spirits. You know, it's like not everybody knows. New investigators, as you grow into the paranormal, you learn. And it, it changes your life once you do. They're no different than we are. We all have stories to tell. Who will sit down and listen? Who will sit down and ask the right questions? And the loveless thing was, was emotional. It was. It, it, it all really was once we started getting the spirit box going crazy. Or the, the Eddie. And it just be, be normal. Don't try to be the next Zach Bagans. Oh, a demon's talking to us. You know what? That's what you get. Anyway, back to the audio. Thank you both for the subs. I greatly appreciate it. Thou shalt not bow down before any graven image. Grinch, thank you so much. Thank you. Let's uh, <laughs> pause this once again. And uh, get two more on the wheel. <laughs> this is going to be the Jelly Bean Show. And now, and now, and now we come to a special moment. Uh, that is the most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. And so, and now, so, and now let's we see come the to a special Shall moment. We? Uh, that is right the back. most point, 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 pointless and wasteful use of this year. So, so, let's see the nominations, shall we? I'll be right back. I could not get away without doing the Reaper for at least one show. I was highly anticipating that tonight, but it actually came. So, here we go, the two. And just think, I got all this to go. I got two refills. Heartburn 101 considering I was eating chilies for dinner. So yeah, Heartburn 101, but thank you so much for the sub. You guys are all awesome. Heartburn 101 is right. But you guys are the best. Couldn't ask for a better community than right here. So, uh, <laughs> back to the audio before uh, the, hot, the heat sets in. So, Chris, uh, you were messaging, how much of this is, resi uh, is residual paranormal activity and how much of it is, uh, how much of it is environmental? Because it was kind of breezy Thursday night. Burning in the jowls.
There's a lot of this is interior. It's not exterior. The good thing is, I'm not going to have to use the uh, STFU button on this investigation. Which is a relief. Yeah, some of it like uh some of it's outside. But there's a lot so much coming from interior. Knocks on the tables, knocks on the cell doors, rattling of the cell doors. It, I know it all can't be caused by wind outside because everything's sealed up. But there there's about 10-15% of it is that exterior. I don't know if it's something loose on the roof. Uh or something like that. Uh we actually heard a fan whizzing last uh Last night, we heard of like a like a, an old fan turning. I wonder if that's not from uh, one of you guys was turning the the ventilation fan from the uh, from the chamber. So I wonder if that's not from that. Uh, but I know a lot of this banging is residual, but it's impossible one to write it all down. To confirm it, it comes from you guys. It comes from. You, Chris, the other Chris, and uh, and Susan, and Joe, and the other docents. Because you guys are in there all the time. You know the sounds. And that's why I'm grateful you actually stopped in. <laughs> and you're going to watch these shows. You can help be able to confirm and debunk some of this evidence. If we get it wrong, and you hear it, you're going to be like, no, this is this. So it is a blessing for the show. I can't call that paranormal. Odd sound. Sounds like something dragging. But not enough to pay attention to. Kind of like the doors. Does that sound like it's hitting wood? It's rattle. Something's hitting on wood. Echo. <laughs> Just so much, so much, so much noise going on. It 
it's you almost want to set up a cot in execution viewing and just lay in there all night and see what sounds happen. The plane, the plane. I want to see if I got this fixed. And the pop up didn't work. I'm almost curious if we're going to get this on all the other cell blocks. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So seven cell blocks on top of death row, women's. If we're going to get any more, any residual sounds like this. <clears throat> It is crazy. Uh, first and second investigation. I mean, we had residual sounds like this. We had the residual doors, the cell doors. But not to this extent. They would only have, I've, you can ask Susan. I sent her clips. It would happen every two or three minutes. Maybe every ten minutes. To where we'd get something like these cell doors shutting or rattling, whatever. But not to this extent where it's every few seconds. And I turned off my ringer. What the hell is going on? What is going on here? Give me a second, guys. I turned off the ringer and somehow it turned itself back on. I always make sure it's off before the stream, or try to. 
My ringer literally turned itself back up. The investigation money was more... But you'd think you'd hear this walking through like you guys do every day. We didn't hear this walking through. Hold on. We might have an EVP here. Let's get this amplified a couple times. Because it sounds like a hard whisper. Which, uh, fine by me. Let's get this one more time. Let's get this amplified. And let's get over to... There we go. Wait a minute. That's a switch being thrown. That's a switch. That's evidence. Can we clean this up more? There's an EVP, I just don't know what it's saying. Almost sounds like come back. Or I come back, I'm back. Let's try a different one. It, it might be don't. Uh... Sorry if that was too loud, guys. We're done. Could it be we're done? I I hear done. I'm just trying. It's there's. I think there's two words there with the click. We're done. Is that somebody's last? Could that be somebody's last words? Like that? You hear that switch being thrown for possibly. Lethal injection, that, that switch for uh, to start injecting the poison. Somebody's like, we're done. <laughs> no, it's, we're done. I, th I think it's we're done. I'm going to try to clean this up. But I, I definitely hear done. I definitely hear done. Uh, noise reduction. Capture noise point. Apply.
I don't think I'm getting much cleaner than this. This is probably about as clean as we're getting it, guys. So let's let's cross our fingers that it's cleaned up. It could be female. So, uh, we, we agree on the done part. So, do you think it's, we're done? Just throw the switch, we're done. I don't know. That switch clicking is a little creepy. Because it's a definite electronic switch. Or uh, like one of those manual throw switches. Well, like a double pull throw switch. It's like a double pull throw. I swear to God that's what it sounds like. But female voice with a switch. Something done. That, that's a pretty good piece of evidence right there. So let's get over to here. That is, wow, EVP 8. All right, I just put it the click done. Uh, when NSP gets all the evidence on the next visit, uh, let all you guys decide. Or uh, if you want, I can send you the clip. You can play it for Susan and uh, Susan, Chris, and Joe, and they can decide as well. We'll figure it out. 100% definite, but it is a female voice. It is a click, and it is done. So. Another one of the meter. We're good. Let's get going. I think this one is too low to be able to get. A female voice, definitely. Let's try. Let's try. That's why we're here. We're not going to risk losing evidence for something we could possibly get. But this is very, very low. I'm sorry guys, this one's too low. Bunk this one. So, we're gonna move on on that.
way, way too low. And at that point, it could be so far away, it could be somebody outside talking. I might just be hearing shit too. <laughs> Trying to force myself to hear something. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, that's way too deep to be outside. <laughs> that sounds like it's in the other room. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's our next one. There is definitely our next one. <laughs> that one caught me off guard. What do you guys think? You don't hear words? It's a, you're right, it's a super light whisper. Hear a whistle at the end? I hear a, I hear a whistle at the end too.
to capture the noise floor. I don't think it's enough to consider evidence. There's, it's like a, a, a forced failed whisper and a forced failed whistle. So, if we can't 100% definitively identify this, we've got to debunk it. I thought of something near that, Chris, but we got to be 100% and have at least 90% of the room agree on it. And that's what we did on the past, on the past couple of investigations. We got to be almost unanimous with it. Otherwise it's just out there. And everybody knows, everybody who's been here for a while, I hate missing evidence. But I'd rather be 100%, I'd rather be 98% than 20%. Because I do not want to give you guys something that's not there. And I'm sure there might be a couple in that that are, that we all heard something we thought was. But they're always going to be that margin of error with every investigator. I don't care how seasoned you are. Because there's several of those EVPs to where everybody heard something. Here, I'll pause this for a second. Uh, we were doing one show. We were on one show, and I had like eight people in here. They all heard the same thing. I heard something different. So I'm, I wrote them both down. After the show was over, I went back and listened to the clip. Lo and behold, it was what everybody else heard. So I don't know if maybe these spirits have followed me home and they're manipulating what they want me to hear and what they don't. But everybody else heard the same EVP and I heard something different. It was why it blew my mind. Because I went back and played it back. It's like, these guys were right. I went back the next show and be like, guys, I'm sorry. You you were actually right on this. And I was dead wrong. And it's like, then played it back on stream. And of course, I heard what everybody else heard again. So is there some kind of manip manipulation by the spirits on my side? That's entirely possible. Being that I have stuff that's been in the prison now in my home. I'm expecting activity. I'm expecting them to come visit me. <laughs> and I'm all for that, as long as it happens behind me on camera. As we actually one night had a shadow walk right behind me on camera. I left the stream running and I combed my house with my gun up and loaded. I watched something walk right behind me. I thought somebody broke in. Scared the piss out of me, I ain't gonna lie.
Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to uh, really, really amplify this one. Uh, I don't want to blow out any eardrums, so I'm going to have it on pause for right now. Uh, then when we get it cleaned up, I'll, I'll put it back down. I'm definitely hearing something here. Uh, let's see. Turn this down so we don't blow eardrums. It's not doing anything. Uh, let's go over to here. I think at this point, guys, I might just be hearing things. Go back, do vocal one more time, just to be safe. If I come, we can handcuff deads to a cell. Uh, Chris, are you okay with that? Handcuffing somebody in one of the cells? <laughs> I'd be the man to ask if we can get away with that. Because I don't know what we can bring. I know there's certain things we can't take on prison grounds. Uh, no jeans, no cigarettes, no alcohol. As far as handcuffs go, maybe. I know we had uh, the. <laughs> I know we had uh, lingering souls. Actually, brought the jailhouse keys with them last year. So maybe. I'd actually be willing to be shackled. I'll bring an orange jumpsuit up. I'll bring the orange. I'll I'll go on to uh, no no jeans. Uh, Sarah, for the simple fact. The, the active prison next door, they wear jeans. So if, because the prison, uh, the guards, the, uh, the guards of the prison next door, they patrol the fence line all night long. So if they see somebody on NSP grounds, they're more than likely going to get shot. <laughs> I don't want to be sugarcoated or over-exaggerate, but there's going to be problems. No blue jeans. So it's no blue jeans, no jean jackets. Uh, basically, you can wear black pants. Uh, I wear black shorts, black shirt, and a black hoodie and a green hat. So. That actually sounds like let me out. Let's pause this. Let's get over. Let's stretch and pitch this. Let's uh, let's slow this track down. Good thing about it, if it's going way too fast, we can do this. Let me out through a plastic bag, through a body bag. Now, can you guys here let me out? Very distorted. So if it's very distorted, the question is, could this be coming from through the wall of the execution chamber? Is this somebody reliving the execution? They're fighting to get out, maybe from uh, from the gas chamber before it was uh, before it was lethal injection. You know, they're strapped in the chair. Let me out. 
very dis very distorted like it's coming through a wall very possible so we got another piece of evidence so if through, even through a body bag let me out <laughs> i don't want to go in a closed room and i don't want to go in a body bag so the last moments of your of your physical life and the first few moments of your afterlife, you're in a closed area. <laughs> One more claustrophobic than the other, but you're in boat, you're being led into a closed chamber and taken out in a closed bag. So it could be either one. You're carried out in a plastic bag. He's right. Chris is right. <laughs> so we're going to apply that. We're going to put this on mute for a second while I type it up. All right, that is number nine. So we've got nine EVPs in an hour and 41 minutes. Not shabby. Not bad at all. These are the shows we want. Get three or four EVPs for, let's see, we have basically 20, 20, 20 minutes of audio, 29 minutes of audio tonight, and we've gotten three EVPs. So in 30 minutes, that's one every 10 minutes. That's about what we're averaging so far is an EVP every 10 minutes. I'll take that for the entire investigation. If it's close to 400 hours of audio, one every 10 minutes, <laughs> uh, we're, we're going to be doing good. We're going to be doing really good. But like I said, I can venture a guess we're going to hit just over 600 EVPs. If all goes according to plan and taking the last investigations into account, they just go up from there and we had extra. You did the math on the, okay, I'm scared. Chris, you and me both. I'm curious about the book bindery, I'm curious about the cave, and I'm curious about the hole. The book bindery is going to be interesting. I hope that's not six hours of silence. Be Does, if I had to venture a guess, probably 415 hours of audio, anywhere from 415 to 430. Four hundred thirty five hours of evidence. Oh my God. Four hundred, yeah, four hundred thirty five hours of evidence. That's insanity. TV shows don't even get this much. They go in for from 9 o'clock at night to 3 in the morning, so 11, 12, five, figure 5 hours. They don't have the amount of equipment we had. Each one of them has a digital recorder. Each one of them has a camera. Or each one has a cameraman. Let's put it that way. They have a cameraman and audio. 
and they go over minuscule amounts. We had 18 digital recorders spread out throughout the prison, including the ones we were carrying plus the GoPros. These TV shows ain't got jack on us. This is how you investigate. I th I'm, I'm hearing something here. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I have, a, I have an inkling to what this says, but I hope it's not too distorted. I hope this isn't too blown out. Oh, Chris, I appreciate that, man. <laughs> The TV shows provoke. We're pulling in over 100 uh, hours of audio and video every night. Yes. <laughs> we could do a month of TV shows. I'm hearing get out now. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say it on air. And dildo baggins. Oops. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> it's like Frodo Baggins' cousin. Except douchier. Damn. So I'm not shy about it. I, I think Aaron and Billy are the greatest fucking guys. It's just who they are. It's a personality conflict. I'm... <laughs> Country Woman's new nickname is my future ex-wife. <laughs> Freaking vexes. You got a crush. How sweet. And another one for the meter. <laughs> he said on the very first episode. He said Demon of the He does that on every, almost every show after season like 13. There's a demon here. No, there's just a spirit that doesn't like you, just like most of the living. So they're going to say demon to get you out of there. Thinking most people are going to run when they hear the word demon. Not most who go kicking and screaming into the dark like me. Be like, yeah, demon. Oh my God. Then all of a sudden, all these, uh, all these locations go from charging fifty a night to five hundred a night, all because, uh, yeah, Frodo was in there doing an investigation. That's not how you keep business. You'll chase more people out than you bring in. Nobody wants to pay $500 to go to a location. You keep charging 50, 60, you know, even 100 a head. 
125 for the prison, you know, 125 like like an NSP, I totally agree with. People will line up all day long for 125 a night for 90% of the locations out there. And you will make so much more money than chasing people away just because there is a TV show in there. And that's me preaching. Let me run it. Let me run these places. I'm not going to charge you $500. You're an investigator. You're in there for the if you're in there for the right reasons and not there just because the TV show is there. And that's a lot of these groups. They want to go there because they think they're the next Ghost Adventures crew. They think they're going to be the next TV show. They think they're going to be the next biggest thing in the paranormal when all they're doing is stumbling and bumbling around in the dark. They're not communicating with these spirits. They're not talking to them. They're provoking them. No. There's my rant. <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a few times watching that show. Nobody wants to do it real anymore. Everybody wants everybody wants a demon to pop out until a demon actually pops up and says hi. As I said, I've been, I'm coming probably close to about 900 investigations. I've only ever had one demonic. It was a residential after I first started. And I'll never, I never want another one. That, that investigation still scares me to this day. And I've been thrown across rooms. I've been carried out of buildings. And that one still frightens me more. People have no idea what they're getting into when they, when they call out demons. They just don't know until it wrecks their life. And remember, guys, I, I hate saying it like this. Spirits, in some sense, are a lot like pets. They hate change. So you get a lot of these older locations and you remodel them. These spirits are lost. What now is a master bedroom is a master bathroom. What was a sitting room is now the dining room. Spirits get lost and confused, just like pets do. You take a pet into a new house... They hate it. Animals hate change just like spirits do. And I hate comparing them like that. But it's true. They know their surroundings. They feel safe there. As depressing or as... As, as confusing or as, as depressing, as angry, as sad or as happy a location can be, a spirit finds comfort in that. Leave it be. Keep it, you can remodel, but keep it the same. Keep the rooms the same. Well, like I said, the, the demonic that I had, Ghost Adventures actually did like two years later. They didn't tell you the whole story about what happened in that house. And I'm glad they didn't. I am seriously glad they didn't tell the whole story. And I've talked about it here on the show a few times.
you know, I'm, I'll be honest. When I first started in the field, I provoked a lot, as most people do. I didn't provoke on residentials, but any other location, I was calling shit out. I was, I thought I was the biggest, baddest kid on the block until I got thrown. Then I changed. <laughs> I think it fully got changed when I got carried out of an of a location in Tonopah. I wasn't provoking, but I wasn't there for the right reasons. Now, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, Deads, you'd know on this one. That's uh, that's one of the GoPros going dead, isn't it? That's got to be a GoPro's battery di dying. But it shouldn't be dying after an hour and 46 minutes. So it only took two hours of audio. So yeah. Well, I had my, my main GoPro on a gimbal and I recorded for seven hours. Unless they use a standard battery. Okay. But that gimbal gave me an additional five hours, so. 90 to 120 minutes. Okay. So I'll definitely have to get a gimbal for the eight on the next next investigation. Now I've got all the recorders I need, guys. Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Never mind, that's just a bird. We can debunk that. Uh, I've got all the recorders I'm going to need. <laughs> Unless I start upgrading to the H3 VRs, uh, full binaural. Uh, I just, we're not going to need it. Everything from here on out, I think, is going to be either video or upgrading the uh, upgrading the recorders.
Oh, uh, the H3 VR, uh, I finally figured out how to set it to record in full binaural sound. Uh, instead of having to convert it uh, on desktop, which takes about 20 minutes a clip, uh, I fully converted it. So now we got full binaural sound, and uh, I think that's going to work in our favor because it's the entire environment around us. So that's going to give us a wider range for the EVPs. So any anything we do from here, either video or H3 VR, uh, and that's going to be a step because I'm not replacing all the recorders because I just got them. They'll just add to the audio because everybody's been so gracious to donate to this stream and make sure that we're having the best quality possible so I can present to you guys everything in a clear manner, not like the old Olympuses that was nothing but static. And we got to clean up static, which we know was not easy. It, it was a pain in the ass. And I am going to start uh, getting out the, uh, the old Olympuses as gifts. Uh, I did give one to Deads for his support to the stream. Uh, and a few others I'm going to give, give the others out to as well. So, just as kind of souvenirs from the show. We're, we're, we're just growing now, and it's, it's great. So we've got, what, we've got 20 minutes left on this section of the recorder. So unless we start getting hammered by EVPs, we're going to go ahead and finish out this section tonight. Like I said, it's only 20 more minutes, so, or actually 15 more minutes. And you notice the knocks of the, the ambient noise or the residual noises have died down a little bit. So this would be, let's see, 4.30, 5.30, 6. Getting towards between 6 and 7 o'clock at night. So that 4.30 to 5.30 area, could that be all the residual noise from the cell Everybody leaving the cell block to go down to culinary. <laughs> yeah, that's we we were getting to the point we were trying to identify what kind of car, what kind of motorcycle, what kind of semi was actually going by. We were even making jokes. Hey, that's a Cessna going over. Oh, that's an old stop with going over. That's you know that's. You know, that's a L-1011 going over. That's a helicopter going over. You know, it's, we work, this catches everything. So it's, it, it's even catching, last year it caught the owls outside in the prison yard because they had the nest right up there on, uh, outside of, uh, outside of what was it, two or three, the owls had the nest up there. So we were actually catching the owls which was actually pretty cool. We spent about 45 minutes one night 
just analyzing birds and figure out it was a bird. We were just feeling, we weren't feeling too bright that night. Actually, I'll admit it. I feel like a dumbass sitting there analyzing birds for so long. Oh yeah, I treasure them too. Don't get me wrong. We were literally looking out the window right at them and they were looking back at us. They're beautiful animals. But having them... <laughs> having them sit there and like getting their audio not... That it was so low we're trying to figure out what it was and just analyzing and analyzing and analyzing. It's going, wait a minute. This is an owl. We just spent half a show listening to owls over and over again. They're amazing to watch in the yard. They keep the rats away. They keep the mice away. They keep, you know, any kind of rodents away. They're, they are amazing. You're right. Just not for investigative purposes. It's, I love watching them. I could have sat there at the window just keeping the camera on them all day. But... question is can the owls see the spirits too they got that great night vision can they see the spirits walking the yard That's a strange frequency bump. Let's look at that. Nothing. That's weird on this recorder. Sometimes you get these weird frequency spikes. And there's nothing there. I mean, last year, we actually, I actually got on recorder. Something walked up and tapped the recorder. So every time we get something weird like that, I'm expecting, you know, to get something else just walking up, tapping on the recorder. And it was like it was on the microphone, too. It's like that. It's like, wow, really? It is way too prevalent to ignore. Like I said, I sent it to Susan last year. She's like, that's cell doors. But it wasn't this prevalent. And I, Dez, will, Dez was here for it. He'll tell you. I mean, it was every couple minutes. But now it's... Like this. That's, that's what I want to know. Either the spirits were really glad that I was there, or this is environmental. But it's a lot of it's interior.
like that. That's See, that's that's you can hear the echo on this one. This is coming from inside that room. It's almost like a rubber sole on the on the floor just stopping real quick. It, it's a rubber sole on it on that concrete floor. So I don't know guys. I wish I had a better explanation for you. I can usually debunk a lot of this. It's just not happening. Like that. That's a slam. It was a gentle breeze. That's all it was. It wasn't windy. It was just a gentle, steady breeze. And a gentle, steady breeze won't do this unless there's some, uh, unless there's some, uh, like metal sheeting or some kind of weather stripping up on the roof that's loose and it's just flapping around because the wind's coming from a certain direction. It was actually the wind, if I remember, was blowing toward uh it was blowing up the hill to the top cell blocks no actually i take that back it was blowing it was blowing back towards the towards the old building because i had my recorder put behind my back to keep from the wind catching the microphone so it was actually coming at our faces if we're walking up the hill could there be some weather sheeting up on the roof that has come loose but a lot of it's interior, too, like I said. So 15 20% of that could be exterior. The rest is interior. I, I, wish, I wish Susan could hear this. I mean, I can clip it and send it to her. But it's just, it's nuts. It should not be like this. And it's a, it's a re, it's actually a repeating pattern, which is the strangest part about it. Okay, I um, think we got one more EVP, guys. <laughs> very, very faint whisper. I do not know if I have the uh, ability to bring this one up. I don't know how else to analyze it. Chris, I, I wish I did. I know uh, enough on this program, but I don't know enough of the sounds of the prison. I would have to sit down with, with Chris and Joe, 
who have actually worked at the prison and see if they can analyze this. This might be a good thing to let them hear and see if they can be like, wait a minute, I can explain this. I think it'd be it'd be best even I think Joe might be the best one. Since he did a, he worked there for a long time. It's just an idea though. I can already tell you what this EVP is saying. <laughs> and uh, Chris, on this one, you after after time, you train yourself to hear these minuscule whispers. Uh, you could actually, if you train yourself, you could hear a fly fart. These in ears actually help, just exponentially. I went from over ears to a piece of cheap in ears to a better pair of in ears. And each time I upgrade, it just it makes it so much better to hear this. I think we gained 30 or 40 EVPs at least on the last investigation because I switched to in-ears. If I went back through that audio now and started over, we'd probably add another 20 EVPs at least. I mean, when, when Joe and I were walking out of the cell block, we heard, don't go. I mean, like I'm talking to you guys, we heard the don't go. It's, you can follow the voices to where it's at within a reasonable distance. It, that just comes with time in this field. And it, it's tough to train yourself because when you're with other people, you're worried about them talking. You're so worried about so much chit chat, you're gonna miss it. That's why I love investigating alone. But when I got somebody like Joe joining and he just he's he knew. He's watched his show enough. Ask questions when you need to, and beyond that, you know, it's it's hush hush. And you you can hear the voices, especially in Nevada State Prison. I'll tell, I've never found a location to where you hear as many voices naturally than any other place I've ever been to. They're loud. <laughs> they're loud whispers, but they're loud. It, it's, it's absolute insanity. What am I doing? Let me get back in here. Let me go to noise reduction. Okay, uh, this is actually a repeat of the EV EVP we got earlier. And it's, it's, it's so low. I, I mean, I am barely hearing this. So I, I don't know if you guys can at all. And this has let me out of this place. But it's so low, I'm not, I, I'm honestly not going to count this one. I can't in good conscience count this it's there but I just don't I do not think I can amplify this much more without completely blowing it out we're going to try real quick because we need to wrap this up because it's getting late on my side so and it's been a long day at work let me get a couple more vocal in hand let me get one more in and we're going to play it. And if it's not there, 
we're going to debunk it. Now, I'm going to let you guys decide on this one, yes or no. I expect 100% audience participation on this EVP. Vexus, do you think I'm right? Let me out of this place. I just wish I could get rid of the warbling. All right. Vexus says yes. Uh, if Vexus says yes, then <laughs> uh, I really don't need many other people to agree because he's one to he's one to debunk quicker than I am. So we're gonna uh, get this saved, and that means we've got we got a few EVPs tonight, which is good. Which is real good. And one more for the meter, 2256. And number 11, Nevada State Prison. We're still on the first section of the first recorder. We are kicking ass, guys. We've, we've gotten 11 EVPs in an hour and 57 minutes. Uh, Chris, let me out of this place. Actually, it's let me out of here. Let me try one more amplify. And again, I apologize for the warbling. I don't think I can get rid of it. Let's try real quick. Since, come on, don't do that. Okay, let's, there we go, there we go. Let's see if this will work. I usually hate doing this because a lot of times it makes it hollow and just completely blown out. Capture noise point, apply. Let's go back and try it. Eh, hair better. One more try. I want to try one more thing, then we're, we're going to move on. 
let's get there. Let's go to Okay, that should remove it. Let's try to here. Let's see. There you go. Let me out of here. So I'm going to resave this uh, for the simple fact it actually got it cleaned up better. So bear with me a second, guys. We're good. See how rough it gets analyzing some of these EVPs? <laughs> it, it takes some time. It, it, sometimes it sucks. But it makes it worthwhile when we actually get it. And I'm actually getting better with this app, this uh, program, so it's going to make it better, better for us to get EVPs. The longer I do it, the better it's getting. When I first started, I could use like two features. Then I just started dinking around with it while I'm streaming, and eventually we we picked it up. I swear to God, I'm going to get a tattoo from Fantasy Island and get a deplane, boss, deplane. I'm going to have to get that sound bite. Probably aging myself a little bit on this. Younger generation's not going to get it, but oh well. That's Joe, but there's an EVP. I think that's saying... Okay. Let's get some noise reduction in here. 
I'm fairly sure that's an EVP. Huh. I'll be damned. Okay. So we got here to here. There's that switch again. It sounds like a fan going too. Uh, let's see. I don't think we're going to need more than this. Hanging on. I think that's saying, well, I'm pretty sure I know what that's saying. Pretty clear. I hope you guys are picking it up too. Uh, I don't know. We've had a long show tonight, guys. We really have. But I'm okay with this. Got great people. Got spirits to listen to. Got some uh, great new people to join the community. Some new subs. A lot of EVPs tonight. So we got five EVPs tonight. We're on a roll. Just got to start typing up instead of waiting till the last minute where I have to type up, you know, 20 pages at once. But uh, what are you guys hearing? I'm working on this for a minute. That's not an EVP. Wait, no, it is hang on. I thought it said be nice at first. Slow it down and hang on. Good call, Chris. Very good call. I thought you said hang on as you'll be right back because I wasn't hearing hang on at first until I slowed it down. So I apologize for that. There's my there's my jerk off moment of the night. I'm sorry. I thought you said hang on like you'll be right back. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's hang on. You're absolutely right. So let's get that saved. God, hang on. I'll be right back, okay? I'll wait. Another one for the meter. We need to keep this up. This keeps up for the whole investigation. We're going to have a shitload of EVPs. Are you kidding me? We're going to get back-to-back -back EVPs. That's clear as day, too. Uh, 
I'm not going to have to do more than this. We don't have to clean these some of these up. I love it when you don't. Chris, you're absolutely right. That is clear as day. I love it when we don't have to clean up very much. All we have to do is amplify the audio, amplify the voice. Crystal clear. Sarah, spot on. Crystal clear. And that's another one for the meter. <laughs> We're just rolling them out. I'm wanting to end the show and get through this section of the recorder. And now the spirit just won't shut up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I can. I love that. Sorry. Exactly, duds. Anticipation denotes intelligence. That's why at the prison, expect everything. Is that saying my name?
<laughs> Spirits are already calling my name. All we had to do was amplify. And yet another one. <laughs> sure sounds like it. And last investigation, I think my name was called like six or seven times throughout the course of all the recorders. We're on the first recorder, first section of the first recorder. And I've already had my name called once. Just wow, guys. Just wow. You, you, you have no idea how good that feels. It's, that shows consciousness. That shows intelligence. The, these, these men have not left this area. There's a conscious entity there. A couple very intelligent ones. And to show memory. What's that show you about the afterlife? Or what happens after physical death? There's memory. That shows there's some kind of physical form. So maybe something we can't see in a different spectrum. But that shows a physical consciousness. <laughs> it's, it's creepy, but it's cool. It makes you really not fear death. You are in death as you are in life. Very true. And I've said that in numerous shows. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the show for tonight. We finished section one of Sims Recorder, night one, execution chamber. Uh, tomorrow night, hopefully there's going to be a show. As long as I don't have to work late, we're prepping a lot of shows to go out. Rather than health bolting interaction we had in Unit 13, you, you got yanked, Joe and I got yanked, and I got slammed, and that was all at the same time. Unit 13 as well is coming out of the hole. When we were walking out of the hole through the gate, we all three got it there too. You got pushed, uh, Joe got tugged, and I got my necklace pulled. So two different locations on day one, we both had personal experiences. So that uh, there's something that's, Brent, come back, come back, come back, come back. As long as I have my friends with me, oh yeah, we're going to have fun with it. But as I said, uh, tomorrow night is going to be a toss-up. Uh, depends on how late I have to work. If I have to work, I will do one Saturday or Sunday because the next show will be number 300. Will be the 300th show. Plan on me having a beer on air, maybe even a shot. We hit freaking 300. It's amazing. And seriously, the energy drain we had there. Yes, the energy drain, both on the batteries and ourselves. They, they came to play in a friendly way. Yeah, I'm still not 100%, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better than I have over the last investigations. We did, we, we covered more than any other team ever has. And Chris, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the sub and believing in the show. You know, I, I know you're going to be here every show that you can. And I appreciate it. And knowing that you can go back and talk to Chris and Susan and Joe and talk to them about what happened on the show. And like, they're going to be, they'll probably watch it on YouTube later. It uploads literally right after the show. And I appreciate it, man. Your help tonight has been second to none. 
and we we need to get to the bottom of all this these doors banging we need to figure this one out and we'll we'll, we'll get to it but next show we start on the next section of the recorder to where i think we're actually investigating in this area and bring it up on youtube please and let her let her watch the sections i'm sure she'll be able to if she can't do it i'm i'm 100% sure joe can that that's that's a given but i i want i really want to know on this one because it's it's bothering me a little bit not in a bad way but the curious nature of it is getting to me Yes, we all need to get together for dinner. We need to go together for dinner before the investigation or breakfast or something. I mean, I want all of us to sit down at the table together. We're, we're going to make this happen. This isn't the last time I'm going to try to, I want to come up maybe in like on a short weekend or just a flight up and a flight back and investigate for a night with you guys. Once it starts getting warmer again, because I know, I think we're the last, really the last true investigation for the year. As far as the other buildings go too. With that being said, guys, I thank you so much for being here tonight. I, I can't thank you enough. You guys are the best. Good night. God bless. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. For number 300, you guys take care. Would you shut the fuck up?